I have 100% complete and total faith in the fact the gravity bubble is not going to work. Henry has screwed with gravity more times than I can count, and has always ended with him either floating into space or falling into the center of the Earth. Like, this is going to be no different. Yeah, I have this thing here that can manipulate gravity. Should be able to get you to float across. Should? Wait. Up. Down. Up, up and then down. Up and then... Did it work? What did you pick? What's up guys, welcome back to the Henry Stickman Collection, a group of some of the best Flash games ever made, completely remastered. But we've seen a lot of new stuff over the past couple episodes, and some of you guys might remember, after breaking the bank and escaping the prison, I told you guys if that video got 30,000 likes, I would return. And you guys crushed that goal in like 6 hours. So I'm a man of my word, and after stealing the diamond, I once again told you guys if that video got 40,000 likes, I would return. I figured that'd probably take you guys like four, maybe five days. Didn't even take you four or five hours to nearly double it. Like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. It's like people suddenly realize that likes don't cost anything. They're completely free to give. So once again, I'm going to try to buy myself a little time. If this video gets 69,000 likes, I will giggle to myself a little bit and then return. But for now, we have an airship to infiltrate. Well, well, look who finally decided to wake up. You've been quite elusive, but your skills make you worth the catch. You'll be perfect for the job. We've been having some issues with a group of thieves known as the Top Hat Clan. We know they're guilty, we just can't pin them down to crimes. You'll be going into the airship to bring them down. I don't need to remind you that we've got you on several charges. Attempted robbery, breaking yourself out of prison, <laughs> Even stealing the Tunisian diamond. We've got quite a lot of counts on you. Do this job right, and we'll drop all charges against you. Charlie here will be bringing you close to the airship. The rest is up to you. Find a way to bring him down, and you'll be a free man. Hey, uh, how do you want me to bring you in? Uh, that's a good question, Charlie. I completely forgot that this game was like a huge step forward in the series. It has like 10 times as many endings and fails as some of the other games, and then it also had multiple routes, like some of which would overlap in certain choices, I think. I, what I'm trying to say is this could get complicated. How the hell is it these formerly dressed buffoons don't know how to spell Top Hat, yet they can build a flying cruise ship? Like, clearly this isn't the kind of thing that you just buy at a dealership. They must have made it. I mean, maybe we could ask them? Why don't we just try calling them on the earpiece? Check, check. This is Charles. Thought I'd, uh, give you a heads up. Uh, there's a guy down there. A bad guy. So, uh, yeah. Good luck. Thank you, Charles. That was actually helpful. You don't run into too many helpful people in this game. So there's a bad guy on the other side of the hatch. Do we want to hit it with C4, a knock, acid, or a vacuum? Why did we pack a vacuum? C4 seems like the most entertaining way of getting in there. I would imagine we should take a couple big steps back. Okay, we did that. Steps weren't big enough. I know knocking sounds like an obvious mistake, but like the more I think about it, the more I'm thinking maybe not so much. It's the element of surprise. Who would expect a knock at a door on an airship that's in flight? We can get him out here. Maybe his top hat blows away because of the wind. We can punch him right in his stick throat, then hurl him into one of the engines. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Henry is a bit of a puss. I've never seen him throw a punch with those little wiener fingers of his. Is the top hat glued to your head? I swear to God, if it isn't windy enough out here to blow the top hat off of a dipshit, but it is windy enough to blow acid back in my face, I am gonna lose my mind. Please. How does that work? I'm like 99% sure that that bad guy isn't made out of carpet, so I don't understand what a vacuum is supposed to do here. Like, am I just gonna scare him away like a cat? Oh. What? Okay, sure. Okay, good job there. Oh, uh, so we should probably look for something incriminating. Something that we can use to prove that they're criminals, you know? 
critical point in this operation. Good idea. Right, gentlemen, we've been tasked with developing new weapons for the clan. Any ideas? I was kind of thinking. Yeah. Oh, more bad choices. I really don't like them. I don't know if it's their hats and lack of pants or if it's their posh accent, but I, I would love to transdimensionalize them. Okay, sure, why not? What's the worst that could happen? Oh, whenever they give you a card, it's not good. Visit alternate dimensions with the flick of a switch. I didn't even get to read the instructions. This is a mistake and a half. Uh, oh. We visited the first dimension. It's just flat. I was about to ask if Henry could do a posh British accent, but I don't think we've ever heard him speak. He's already not wearing pants, so putting on a hat to disguise himself should be pretty easy, but just don't start talking now. Keep your lips shut. You do have lips, don't you? Right, so if we go up to three caliber... Hey, you there. What do you think you're doing? It's Smith, right? What are you doing here, mate? Your wife's just gone into labor. Take that escape pod behind you. It'll take you right to the hospital. Go ahead. Don't worry. I'll tell the chief. Well, I... Uh, I mean, they're very understanding people, and as an organization, they have maternity leave for both parents, so that's cool, I guess. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. It's a good thing we want to see all of the fails, because I'm genuinely trying to rationalize these answers here. Like, obviously, you gotta go with something like Transdimensionalizer. It's not gonna work, but it sounds hilarious. But between disguise or glue, or, like, all that other stuff, or vacuum, like, who would pick glue? Like, who are you gonna do macaroni art for them? How is this gonna help us? Okay? No, we can't do that. Well, no. You do realize how no, you can't be serious. You got sticky glue fingers and that turns you into Spider-Man? <laughs> Come on now. Ooh. Doors jammed again. Oh, that's a concussion and a half. Record sign? Where it says records? That'd probably be a good place to look, right? Let me just uh help you get across that gap. Right. Okay, so we're looking for incriminating evidence. I'm guessing that there's also vault and cell to our left, because that's the route we would take if we chose something other than the earpiece. But right now, we gotta go after records. And again, we have a whole bunch of awful options. Uh, what is this? Are we building a platform, or is that an invisible platform? Are we extending the platform? I don't know, it's piqued my interest. Okay, Go ahead with platform. Uh, let me just uh, teleport this thing in here for you. Oh! Teleported platform. Come on, Chuck, give me a little warning beforehand. I have 100% complete and total faith in the fact that gravity bubble is not going to work. Henry has screwed with gravity more times than I can count, and has always ended with him either floating into space or falling into the center of the Earth. Like, this is gonna be no different. Yeah, I have this thing here that can manipulate gravity. Should be able to get you to float across. Should? Up, down. Up, up and then down. Up and then... Did it work? What did you pick? At least it's a sturdy floor, I'll give them that. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, it would be center of the world right now. I'm gonna be the bigger man here and give Chuck the benefit of the doubt. Because, let's be honest, he's been good with intel so far. And that was a little bit confusing. Does up increase gravity? Or does it make you float up? I don't even know what he chose, but clearly whatever it was was wrong. And uh, I forgive you, Chuck, so make it up to me. Alright, here I come. Okay... How was that supposed to help? <laughs> I gotta admit to you guys, I kind of had a feeling that Robo Tails was the right answer all along. It's definitely the dumbest answer, but this time it, it, it kind of stands out. I just really didn't want to grab hold of his Robo Nuts and swing across. <laughs> We've seen all the fails, so I guess it's time for Go Go Robo Tails. All right, here it comes. Ooh. It didn't crush me to death. That's who. Oh, it, it, it didn't drop me. Thank you. Something that guy knows how to open the door. Yeah, 
Defense, let me take care of this. Nazis. Uh, you're gonna take care of it, Chuck. So, if we mind control him, is it you or is it me who's taking control, or Henry? Maybe all four of us can kind of just combine efforts. I feel like that would probably work. Wow, this guy really is a moron. Can't believe he does not open the door. <sighs> Whoops. Damn it, Chuck, every time. Why wouldn't you give me control? Have you not seen my Surgeon Simulator videos and Table Manners videos? I would have nailed that. How about instead of trying to hack this idiot, we just hack the door? That sounds a whole lot simpler. All right, uh, hacked into their security system. I should be able to open the door from here. Okay, you... Go ahead and do that. What just happened? I refuse to believe the Gatling gun is gonna work. Like, there's no way that Chuck is gonna shred this door from a distance. He's either gonna kill the guy, or break his cars, or kill Henry. One of the three, take your pick. All right, get to bring out the big guns. Hey, should we get to go now? Or all of the above. I'm not 100% sure what bone melt even means, but I don't think stick men have bones. Has that been confirmed? I can't quite remember. We'll, we'll give it a try anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh man, I remember this. Good thing nobody knows about this or we'd be in a lot of trouble. Ooh. Oh, 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 uh, crap, crap, uh, oh. oh man, that duck just flew right into the propeller. Oh, what a mess. I didn't even have time to read anything. I was going to say Falcon Kick. Falcon! It never works. The punch didn't work last time, but it's always worth trying. Uh, Ninja Star? How did you miss? You're within arm's reach. You could have just shoved it into the back of his head. Spook? Ooh. Oh, hello, Mr. Spider. All right, you got some evidence. Oh, wait, wait. There's no way you're getting through there. Lots of guys and there's lots of guns. That's all I'm going to say. It looks like you can get around if you go through that air duct. Ooh. Alright, I've hacked into their power grid. What do you want me to do? I don't want you to do anything. I don't trust you to do anything except for surveillance. It's like I said, he's been very good with recon and warning me of people, but I am clearly gonna get fried here somehow. I do recognize this as a Mass Effect dialogue wheel, but I don't know what making an animal noise will do. I, I clearly have to find out. Meh. Okay. I, I don't understand what that means. Oh, it, it was just a, a random achievement. It wasn't even a fail. <laughs> it just confused him. Okay, uh, could you maybe just turn off the power? There's no way that could get screwed up, right? Like, if it stops bolting and arcing and shocking, then we're in the clear. Okay, shutting down the power now. Good! Oh! I didn't mean the power to the whole- You have the ability to turn off power to the whole ship? Why would you not just sink these fools? I'm here risking my life trying to prove their guilt. Meanwhile, these guys have the ability to make them fall from the sky and have it look like an accident. I, I, I'm just so sick of Chuck. No, I don't need your help. You can shove your help right up your stick ass. I'm sorry, I just thought you needed some help is all. No, I'll just, I'll just run. It's fine. It's just a light tasing. I'll wake up eventually. Fine, Charles. I'm sorry. I do need you. Could you please reroute the power? Okay, I'll reroute the power to a random room. That's fine. Thank you to a random room? Maybe be a little bit selective. Oh. All right, Henry, you're almost there. I'm right outside, so just open the bay doors and I'll uh, get you on the chopper. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, uh, we got a situation down in the cargo bay. 
Oh, I was gonna say now would be the time for the Gatling gun. Just waste them. <laughs> They're not gonna get to the tank. It's in a box. So we've got Henry and we've got Chuck and we've got two top hat gangs. So that means if we throw a flashbang grenade, there's like a 50-50 chance that we blind someone who we want to be blinded. <laughs> I like those odds. Fire in the hole. Oh, oh. I was going to say he was smart. He closed his eyes because he was the one who threw the grenade. But no, he probably looked directly at it. And then the sun. Again, I'm not a big fan of these options that have a high likelihood of friendly fire. Like, if we use sleeping gas, there's a chance that we make the bad guys fall asleep. There's also a chance that we fall asleep and then it's a long way down, or Chuck falls asleep and it's a long way down. <laughs> I really don't think Henry can fly a helicopter. It's worth a shot. I think that was the sound of us getting shot. The main problem here is that they're not descriptive enough in their choices. Like, if I pick Banana Bomb, is Henry gonna pull the banana out of his ass? Or is it gonna come from the helicopter? Because that's very important to know. Kind of. Is it? I don't even really care. Oh? Oh. That's a powerful banana. Once again, out of four equally terrible options, the last one in reading order is the correct one. It's just my luck. Hey, there's a button on your earpiece. You should press it. Uh, Have I had that this entire time? What's going? <sighs> this could be a problem. We did it! <laughs> Government supported private infiltration, is that what it said? Either way, we got him. Yeah. I think that's the good ending. Like, we actually did what was asked of us. We took down the Top Hat gang, but I get the feeling there are some other not so good endings. <laughs> Three more, in fact. I feel like some of you guys would be upset if I chose two reasonable paths this episode. Like, we already chose the earpiece. That's a perfectly legitimate way to approach things. Now, how about we go with sticky hand? That definitely costs more than a couple of dollars. But if it works, it works. Doesn't matter if you got it out of one of those little crank machines. Do we want to go with ball and chain or zero point energy? Uh, that sounds a lot like gravity, so that's probably a fail. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it was kind of gravity-like. I'm surprised we have so few options here. Like, ball and chain doesn't sound like a particularly better option. Especially when you're dangling out of an airship. Catch me, Chuck! <laughs> he actually caught me! <laughs> Lightning quick! Holy crap, I thought... For sure that was gonna be a fail. It's still a fail. <laughs> I'm thinking this is probably where I'm gonna have to end the video, because this fuzzy little idiot will not leave me alone. <laughs> You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of the Henry Stickman Collection, guys. I really did want to finish infiltrating the airship in one video, and it's not just entirely because Zeke is being shenanigans right now that I couldn't, it's also just, the game is huge. Breaking the bank had five fails in it, escaping the prison had 18 fails in it, this has 60 fails in it, we haven't even found half of them yet. So, like I said, if you guys want to see me return, as always, be sure to leave a like the video, let me know, and this incredibly nostalgic series will continue. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.